Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, I'm Melanie and I do a large variety of different videos. I do beauty box unboxings, trying things on camera for the first time, concert type videos, grocery, ha grocery hauls, collective hauls, experience videos, vlogs and so much more. Today's video is an unboxing of a monthly subscription called Snack Surprise. Snack Surprise, as the title may suggest, is a snack subscription box. Every month there are two boxes, the standard one and the premium one, and each box will contain a variety of snacks and one drink. If you get the premium box, you sometimes get a second drink, but not always. I've been subscribed for three or four months now, and each box is from a different country as well just to point out which I forgot to say so we've had West Germany South Korea can't remember the other ones um, and some are like some of them are very savory based oh we had Greece last month some are very savory based and some are quite sweet based so I have taken the drink out and chilled it which I do with every box and I have also opened one of them things in here and eaten the majority of it and I've also eaten another item because there was two of one item and I have had this box a couple of days and I couldn't wait and I wasn't able to film until now so I'm gonna show you which country the box is from first so this month's box is from France They've also changed the leaflet. It used to be a shiny leaflet and now it's more of a... Well, I think it's recycled, which is obviously better for the environment. So in here you get a list of what's in the boxes. So this side is the original box which I get, which is £12.99 a month, including shipping. And then this side is what you get as well as this side. You get these with the premium box, which I think is £10 more. Firstly, I'm going to start with this because I have just opened it and it's the Tropical Oasis 100% original I think it basically says it's natural ingredients now I should be able to read some of these words but I'm sorry for anyone who's French or anyone who speaks French now shit, my pronunciation is going to be bad so in the booklet this says Oasis Tropical a refreshing non-carbonated drink with fruit and spring water it has no preservatives and no artificial colors and it actually tastes like orange fanta it is very refreshing but it tastes like do you know if you have like a fizzy orange drink and you put ice in it and the ice melts and it's a bit watered down that's exactly how this tastes The second, item, the second item is Cracky Crepe Chocolate, so it's chocolate crepe. In the leaflet it says, Cracky Crepes, delicious pancakes filled with melting chocolate and crispy cereal bowls that are super crunchy. So this is the item where there was two of them, so there was another packet of these. This is super light, it only weighs 32 grams. And the crepe inside is the thinnest crepe I've ever seen in my life. It's literally as thin as, do you know that edible paper that you can get? It's as thin as that. And it's nice. It's got a nice chocolate taste for it. And it does have like crunchy cereal bowls on it. So I do really like this one. The next item are these Harry Bowl. As you can see, I've ate probably 90% of the packet. The purple ones are the best ones. I think they always are, to be honest. And in the booklet it says, Harry Bowl Dragibus. Soft jelly sweets with a colourful sugar coating and delicious fruity flavours. A treat for any Harry Bowl lover, they are gelatin free. So as you can tell from the amount of eaten, I actually did enjoy them. Highly recommend these. So this has got no writing on. I guess they've got these out of a multi-pack. But from looking at the booklet and feeling them, 
These are called Lou Baguette. These tender and delicious biscuits are made with quality ingredients and are favourite amongst the French. They're like oval shape and they look like pastries with jam in. So I'm guessing that's what they are. So this says Lou Napolitan, like the chocolate, Neapolitan. And in the booklet it says Lou Neapolitan. A fluffy sponge cake with a layer of chocolate filling topped with chocolate sprinkles. This cake will surely please your taste buds. It's the type of thing that I would like. It's very light. So these are Lay's chips. Traditional flavour from reading that, basically traditional flavour. And in the booklet it says... Chips a la chips a la chips a la nanchine la nanchine sorry everyone old fashioned crisp by Lay's these chips these crisps are light and crispy with a rich authentic potato flavour so they're basically original flavour that's why it says traditional I don't even think they're salted Nestle Nuts. In the booklet it says Nestle Nuts, a delicious milk chocolate bar with a creamy tasty caramel filling combined with crispy whole hazelnuts. That sounds very much something that I would actually buy. I like the packaging, it's really, really bold and it's, it would stand out in the shop. La Madeleine and the more. I'm butchering the French. In the booklet they say is La, La Madeleine de Mort. A small shell shaped buttery and sweet sponge cake. It's a traditional favourite throughout France. These are Berlin Minisia. 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 Tomato and herbs. In the booklet it says Berlin Min, Minza, Miniza, delicious extra fine dough crackers that look like tiny pizzas and are flavoured with tomato cheese, with tomato cheese and herbs. Let's open these. They do look like mini pizzas. These are super super tasty. Lay's savoury chicken, basically. I love chicken crisps. In the booklet it says Poulet Roti Chips. Your favourite family meal of roast chicken turned into delicious, crunchy and savoury potato crisps. I love Walker's chicken crisps. So I'm guessing these are very similar. Caramba. In the booklet it says Caramba. Chewy caramel sticks that have been a favourite of French kids since the 1950s this is a bonus item so that is the entirety of the French snack box now the drink is nice I would buy it again I'm not it isn't fizzy but it feels fizzy I know it's got sparkling water in but it does as I said it does taste like a, a Fanta that you've had ice in and the ice has melted so it's a little bit watered down I did like the crepe even though it was very thin and it weren't filling, but it was a nice thing to have. The crisps, I've actually carried on eating in between filming this. Um, they actually remind me of kettle chips, but they're not quite as thick as them, but they've got the same taste to them. And they're really crunchy, which I really enjoy in a crisp. The minis, minisa, super, super tasty. It would be something that I would buy, but not often because it is quite calorific. I like the Haribo. I found it hard not to finish the packet, but I wanted to make sure I had some in the packet to show you what they looked like. I'm really happy with everything else, like the nuts bar and the little cake bars. And I like that it's equally savoury as sweet. I feel like last month was predominantly... I think it was mainly savoury the Greek box. That was a really nice box. I do like Greek food and enjoyed this. 
but I feel like I'm really really going to enjoy this I think that's why I found it hard not to eat the entire contents of the box because it does look really really good now a large portion of the profits of these boxes does go to a cancer charity and I think $12.99 is a reasonable price for all of these snacks and shipping you can get your first box for seven or eight pounds if you just want to try it out but this is my fourth or fifth box now and I have enjoyed having it and I'll continue to have it until we've done every country if you have any questions please feel free to leave them in the comment section below and if you're new to my channel please subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell notification to get an alert every time I upload a new video I hope everyone's having a great day and I hope everyone is managing to stay safe I'll be back very soon please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it Thank you for watching.